A new type of bionic propulsion system is unlike anything you have seen before. There are no propellers, and it utilizes an undulating membrane to provide forward motion. There is no risk of tangling up with debris, fishing line, or even wildlife. But many questions arise with this type of system. Is it redundant? Can it be scaled up? And is it truly the propulsion system of the future? The Finex motor was inspired from nature, more specifically the jellyfish. And there are many weird traits about this organism. For one, they defeat the idea that a controlled brain is a prerequisite for advanced behavior. But secondly, their body is slightly elastic, so it can recapture energy as it moves, making it to be one of the most efficient swimming organisms in the world. It creates jet propulsion through its opening bell, and two vortex rings provide thrust to the center of the creature. Larger mammals, like dolphins, also capture this motion. Even though it's not as efficient, you can still capture this propulsion in larger forms and obtain higher velocities. As of right now, there are companies which are trying to replicate this artificially. Corewave has developed this technology for quite a few years, and they have implemented this technology into cardiac pumps. As the current runs through two different coils, it creates a magnetic oscillation allowing the driver to alternate between two different points. There is a high degree of control, and the membrane can provide pulsed flow within synchronization of the heart rate. They have looked at two different techniques, one which kind of replicates the jellyfish, and a secondary method which kind of replicates a faster dolphin undulating movement. The FinX basically replicated this idea into a bigger concept. The drive kind of looks like a hollow tube and a red membrane is attached to the back. It is powered by a 48 volt lithium battery and this supplies power to the coil. It can run for around an hour and 45 minutes at 7 miles per hour. This equates to roughly a 4 horsepower motor at around 44 pounds. This is nothing spectacular, and it would cost over three grand. The company also admitted that the membrane would have to be replaced after two years of use, but that is a little bit vague and we don't exactly know how many hours that equates to. Nevertheless, the exposed membrane would be really easy to take off with the 12 bolts. Their second concept is quite a bit more bold and more powerful. It's kind of like the dolphin with two planar membranes, which can provide over 150 horsepower. Unlike the smaller variant, which has already been proved in real life conditions, this one doesn't exist in prototype phase just yet. And there would be a lot of question on how redundant the fins can actually be to provide this kind of propulsion. We also have to keep in mind that there probably would be noise associated with the drive. It would definitely be interesting to see the difference between a propeller and an undulating membrane. But one thing's for sure, it would probably be quieter than a 2 or 4 stroke because it's a direct electric drive. The FinX is truly unique, but is it the future of propulsion? An alternative method is to utilize magneto hydrodynamic drives. This works on the acceleration of an electrically conductive fluid through the Lorentz force. It has the same principle as an electric motor, except the solid moving rotor is replaced by a fluid acting directly as the propellant. As with all electromagnetic devices, an MHD accelerator is reversible. It's not a new idea, as the Yamato was built by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries in the 1990s. It was driven by helium-cooled superconductors, and this amounted to 4 tesla or 8 knots, which is an extremely high magnetic field and a relatively low speed, and in turn it wasn't really effective at all. There are a couple problems associated with this. For one, you would need a very efficient energy source, but You'd also have exposed electrodes and corrosion problems in salt water. These problems are being tackled on now by DARPA and they intend to use a 20 tesla platform in the future. So you might see considerable improvements for this type of drive. So the FinX is a very interesting development because it's one of the first propulsion systems not to utilize propellers. And this can be very effective in certain applications, but it is not a universal solution. And it would also have a noise profile. And there are some questions on limitations on how much horsepower you can actually get out of this system. The MHD thruster may be considered the ultimate design, but there are a couple of problems right now associated with this. For one, it's not very efficient. And you would need a high magnetic flux to make this work. This means that you would probably need superconducting coils, HDS, and then you would need cryogenic equipment. 
On top of that, you would need some sort of power device to provide this magnetic flux. DARPA could very well solve the material corrosion problem, but it will still take some time to solve these technological hurdles to be incorporated in submarines and larger watercraft. But more importantly, I would like to know what you think about all this, so please leave a comment, like the video if you enjoyed it, and also make sure to subscribe to my channel.